Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Baltic Haskin. Yes. Today we're gonna talk all things Big Red, Big Red Liquors Bourbon Expo 2022. Yes. Because somebody went by themselves to a Bourbon Expo. I didn't go by myself. Somebody went off their husband to the Bourbon Expo. I went with my sister-in-law, my brother's wife. We were in Indianapolis. Um, and she and I got to go to this uh, Bourbon Expo, the first time she had ever been to anything like Who's this. Who's she? What's her name? Angie. Angie? Did I not say Angie? I don't think you did. Mm, maybe I didn't. Um, so Angie and I went to the Bourbon Expo, and they gave us these little plastic glasses. Huh. I thought and, that was actual glass. Nope. And you would go up to, um, I don't know how many different places that, I mean, all of these in here, all of these were, were on display, these different whiskeys, just pages and pages of them. And you would just go up with your glass and you'd be like, I want to taste that. And they would put a little scotch in your glass. Now, how would you clean your glass? First of all, let's introduce the whiskey rock quick. Yeah, go ahead. This is Harrison uh, Indiana Straight Bourbon Whiskey, single barrel, barrel proof. Mm -hmm. We don't know a ton about it. We know it's MGP juice. We know it's 51% corn. Uh, this is the Governor's Reserve Barrel Proof. This is... Hard to read. Hard to read, my goodness. 115 proof. It is 115 proof. So 50, 60... Five, seven... It, yeah, 57.5 times two. This is batch one. I think they're on batch 15. And mm -hmm. uh, we just popped the cork on this the other day. So I, now that we've introduced this, what you got to say about everything else? So um, you would go and, and you would rinse your, so they had uh, things of water too. So you would just fill it up with water and you'd dump it into their little, their bucket and you'd get something new. But some of them had like, this one has maker's mark. It's a Little key ring. Yeah, you got money clip, maker's mark money clip. You have, actually, I don't mind these. I was looking at these a second ago while you're talking. And uh -huh. these are boxing gloves made out of a foam that I can see this being good for like in a swimming pool. These obviously float. Um, what in the world is this? Is this? Those are pop sockets, I think. Oh, you're right. They are for like a foam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so different places had different paraphernalia that. Um, coasters and whatnot. Oh, so this wasn't like in a grab bag? You just went to tables and got this? Yeah. Okay, very cool. Yep. So, you, one year there, you interviewed a fella. We're going to show you that here in a second. Uh huh. Uh, I don't want you to spoil anything right now. I don't want you to. We're just going to show you the video. No they, spoilers. No spoilers. Just, just watch. Show you the video right quick. Can you see your face? Uh, videoer. Amateur videographer. Yes. But thank you, Angie, yes, for videoing you. that. Off the cuff, appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, you traveled all the way there just to go to this expo. Good job, you. What are you getting, Jean, on the nose for this so, single barrel barrel proof? This was one that I had never had before, and I remember really liking it there, and I hunted it down to get it so that I could put it on the show. Right. It is a really heavy bourbon. The caramels are there, the brown sugars, the butter the vanilla um it's just a solid on the nose bourbon so when we first opened this i was getting like elijah craig uh bonded and bond oak note that's now gone away since it's been sitting in the glass um i'm getting like a sweet oak uh hint of like when you when you eat a candy like oh this has too much granulated sugar in this candy it's kind of off-putting mm. i'm actually getting like because this makes sense to me in my head right now like granulated Grain. Granulated grain. I don't know how else to describe it. Okay. Kind of like if you eat a piece of candy that's too sugary because it's hack, ah, I can taste the sugar. I don't like it. But that, I can mm. smell the, the grain nodules because that's a thing. It's, it's an interesting notes. This is a milk chocolate for me. Some little touch of cinnamon, maybe even a little hint of orange. <sighs> I can get the malted barley. We know it's 51% corn. I get heavy malted barley. I'm having to go in. Uh, have a go in. Maybe a, leave a little bit of olive, maybe. I don't know. Mm. Dang. Dang. 
Dang! This is the bottle of day. <laughs> to me. Wow. This is the bourbon of bourbons. Wow. It's caramel. It's liquid caramel. It's it's so much caramel for me. Um. Hmm. Creamy. It's got a little hint of pepper, a little hint of cinnamon. Um. Huh. Butter. Touch of vanilla, bean. Um, hmm. What was your dang? What you got? Take us on your little coaster. Went on a journey. Hold on. <laughs> dang. Opens up. Like okay, I see you corn on the cob. I see you cream of corn. I see you corn meal. But it's all sweet. It's like a beautiful corn casserole. And then it's like, oh no, we got we got caramel coming around the corner. We got some vanilla cream for you, and it's kind of like what legitimately came to my mind is you're going down a slide. I've never had this happen, but for whatever reason, this is what my mind pictured. You're going down a slide, okay. but you're like, you got the you got to jump there. I'm like, what? It's a different tier on the slide. What are we doing now? I'm like, what? <laughs> We're going down a whole other tier. Oh my goodness! Oh, I hate those slides. But it's like a, a distinct transition between. Uh, the, the mid palate, the opening, the mid palate, the finish, mm -hmm. that, that caramel cream casserole mm -hmm. is throughout. It's like a gorgeous casserole with some corn flakes on top, caramel drizzle, and that vanilla drizzle you get, like when you get the Pillsbury, the cinnamon donuts, it's got the packet of frosting, that frosting, all of this. It's got a great finish, and I do not remember liking this this well on the uncorking. My brother has a funny story about a slide, which I won't tell. But oh, for hi, me, this was like fresh corn that's been shucked off the cob and hmm. made in a, a buttery sauce. And then you get this thing of honey and you squirted the honey in to this fresh corn on the cob with butter. Um, and oh man, it's just really, ah. The, the finish on this thing is long, it's sweet. It's it's not overpowering sweet if not not a pudding sweet. It's got the right. It's oaky, but it's got the right amount. It's it's oaky, but it's done the right way. Oh, water. I yeah, water. yeah, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Man, oh, that was a good note. Uh, this is this is our first try of the Harrison Distillery. And did we say this is MGP juice? Did you tell me that? I think it is. Do we MGP. know that? That's right. That's what I have written down anyway. That's right. A high rye recipe, bottle barrel proof. Um, I don't Man. get the rye. <sighs> I usually am very good about rye, yeah. but um, I this to me is just like a hundred percent corn almost. I, Minus the car, I, I do get malted barley. I do get the malted barley easily on the nose. Um, yeah, I'm sitting there trying to search for the rye. Get Maybe, some. okay, with water, I get like a cherry jelly bean. Just the cherry jelly, like, you know, the um, the jelly beans from like Easter, those big, yeah. big jelly beans, not like the flavored jelly beans, like that you get at a gourmet candy store, but. Uh, mm. Like a bag that you went to Walmart and you got the jelly beans for Easter and you pulled out the cherry ones. I really wish I knew an age statement on this. It feels uh, feels eight to ten, but if you're that old, I would think they put it on the bottle. It feels eight to ten uh, with water. It adds so much uh, of that creamy caramel. Just makes it blend so nicely together. Um, I might have to pour some more for the cheers. I gotta go back in. I'm stuck. But we had a lot of fun. Um, this was like a chapstick. It's a, a chocolate flavored, a chocolate whiskey chapstick. Huh. Which was interesting. 92, what'd you do? I did a 91. Uh, Man, but it's jump. easily a 92. Yeah, it could be 90, 91. Did, do you have a, my, did I, did I give you on score when we were doing the notes? Did I give you a score? 88. Okay. 
Yeah, this is definitely crossed up. So yeah, it's 88 were, on the. You were not impressed, and you were like, you hunted this down, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's, okay. Yeah. I went to three different liquor stores to find yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like, why? <laughs> I mean, it's an 88. Yeah, it's good, but it's not great. It is Whatever. great, folks. It is great. Um, wow. So Thank we, you. To get this, actually. And at the expo, you had to have the VIP ticket because this was oh. not inside the regular tasting area. Um, so the VIP ticket got you into the outside area where they had some other tastings available and uh, some finger foods and stuff. Good job, so, Indiana. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for going on this journey with us. You made it to the Thank you, Angie. Yeah. And we had a great time. Yeah. I hope you had a great time. Thank you, Angie. Um, yeah. Uh, subscribe. Check us out on multicasting.com if you'd like to support the show. Uh, get a t-shirt. Like, what am I wearing right now? Yeah. Here, hold it. That's just what the what shirt are we says. Watching? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but uh, thanks for that. Uh, subscribe. Hit the like button. Appreciate that about you. I'm Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are.